So today is Monday. It's the start of a new vlog. I am currently in the middle of Miracle in the Andes. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll post a cover here so you can see what it looks like. So I mentioned in my last vlog what this was about. It's about a rugby team from Uruguay and they end up crashing in the Andes on their way to Chile and they can't figure out where the crash site is. They don't know where the survivors are. And this is told from one of the survivors point of view it's nonfiction. it's a memoir and i've been wanting to read this for a long time it's been on my shelf for a long time it's really interesting so far i'm already halfway done i'm on page 166 it's a pretty pretty crazy story and i can't believe they survived that long i honestly would probably not even last a day let me show you what i got at the grocery store real quick so i got some this is boring but some turkey patties for my husband he's getting surgery soon so i was just finding like plain things that I can make him and then I got this to try I don't know if it'll be good but I've tried a different brand and it wasn't that good and then I went back for more of this kombucha it's the 25th anniversary kombucha for GT and yeah it just it, it's really good it it's uh let me see what's in there black tea green tea kiwi juice coconut water fresh pressed ginger juice and blue spirulina is what makes it blue. This is a good alternative to soda or any kind of carbonated drink, and it's good for your gut. So if you have gut problems like me, kombucha is good for you. My husband drinks it all the time. He drinks like a kombucha a day, and it's just good for you. So he actually tried this, and he did like it, but I liked it more, so I went back and got two more. This is also another like limited edition, I think, for the fall. Yeah, fall edition and it has apple turmeric carrot and spice and i was talking to ashley i'll link her channel down below but we're always buddy reading and talking every day she showed me that they had this one so i had to go back and look for it and they had it and then i went back and got a bunch of little coconut water so this is the perfect size for me because i don't like drinking a lot of coconut water whenever i get a headache or i just like don't feel 100 percent that's when i drink those and then my grocery store had this george rr R. martin book for a dollar 50 so i had to get it it's called night flyers and it's illustrated so um so yeah we'll see the pages are actually really nice so We'll see if that's any good, but it was only $1.50. And then I got Future Home of the Living um, by Louise Eldritch, I think it's how you say it. And she is an indigenous author and I've been wanting to read something by her. And so I saw this book and it was only $1.50. It's a pretty short book and it's in good condition. So I'm excited to read that. And then I got this little hanger. Let me hold it up so you can see it. I got this little, it's like a wooden plank and it says trick or treat and it was only like a dollar. So I had to get that to put outside of the house next year. So it's Tuesday. I just got back home. We went to the hospital at like 4.30 a.m. and we just got back and it's um, 5 p.m. We were there for like over 11 hours and I am starving. I didn't have breakfast or lunch. I literally didn't have anything to eat so I am starving. I did open up a bag of chips on the way home. In the morning, because I thought it wasn't going to take that long, I was like, oh, let me quickly check out Grocery Outlet because I had seen a grocery haul from there on YouTube recently. And they had these late July uh, salt and vinegar chips. And I love late July chips and there were two bags, but I opened one of the bags on my drive home and I almost ate the whole bag but this was 99 cents, such a good deal. I wish I had gotten more. And then I got this matcha, which was $3, I think, which is a really good deal. Green tea was $1.99, which was also a good deal. Um, coconut waters were 99 cents, which that's how they are at the grocery store when they're on sale. So I just picked up some hemp milk. Um, this was 99 cents, good deal. Um, more of these little coconut waters that I've gotten at the grocery store before, but they were a dollar on sale at the grocery store, which was, uh, which I thought was a good deal, but they were 50 cents each at grocery outlet. So I got a bunch of those and then I got some soaps because we are running out. We like being a little more eco-friendly. We stopped using um, body washes a while ago. So I got a bunch of those and they are no chemicals, synthetic matter, color, perfumes, etc etc so i got those my husband's in bed right now he said he wanted chicken nuggets so that's what i'm making 
in the air fryer and these guys have been home alone all day so I know they're starving they are probably so hungry so it's late as you can see by the color but it is Wednesday and I didn't get to vlog that much today I've kind of been helping my husband because he just got his surgery but I'm making our second smoothie of the day he just had a smoothie he's been craving smoothies I guess because I made him a smoothie this morning too now I'm having another one because I just made a lot for both of us <laughs> and I think I'm getting sick because we were in the hospital for so long that there even though I had a mask on I think I got some germs so I'm like nervous about it because my throat hurts and I couldn't sleep last night because my nose was getting stuffy so I hope I'm not getting sick but I did read a few pages of In My Own Moccasins I will put a picture here of the cover because I just take my covers off to protect it I'm hoping to get more of this read so I've been listening to Escape on audiobook from the library and I own it. It's been on my shelf for years. This woman talks about what it was like growing up in a polygamous cult and um, her experiences with her husband and the children she grew up with, like her siblings, and then her husband's kids with his other wives. So yeah, it's pretty good so far. I am, I think I'm now about 100 pages in. So hoping to keep listening to that on audiobook while I w-a-l-k the crew they just went so they're not gonna get hype over the word didn't really meal plan this week i usually like meal plan some meals but i just have like a post-surgery meal idea sheet so i took a picture of it and told my husband to choose from there to make it like somewhat healthy for him well these are all healthy options except for the nuggets and i put beverages and snacks and breakfast options so yeah, it just makes it easier. So I'm not like, oh, what do we have in the fridge? I almost forgot to show you what I'm eating. I'm almost done though. I made some potatoes in the air fryer. Oh, you can't really see it that well in this color. And then some vegan nuggets and yeah, a chill dinner. So today is Thursday and I did get a lot read last night of Escape. And let me see. I'm at 2.30, so I'm about halfway through now. I think I'll be able to finish this today. It's getting really good. And I didn't even realize that John Krakow uh, blurbed it. He's the author of Into Thin Air and Into the Wild and Mazala. And um, yeah, I didn't know he blurbed this, but he said it was really good. So yeah, now we're gonna have lunch because it is 1 p.m. I forgot to film. I thought I filmed an update in the morning, but I didn't. But we're gonna eat and then I'll show you what we're eating. I'm making pizza and then I will try to keep reading this. Here's a clip of the crew. They like their bed on the couch. Gypsy. Hi girl. There she is wearing a shirt because she was scratching herself so she needs the shirt or else she's gonna scratch herself. Here's the buddy laying his head on microbiology. Buddy! Oh my gosh, he's asleep with his eyes open. Oh my goodness. So it's Friday. I'm feeling better, but I'm having some oatmeal. And good news, I finished Escape. So this was really, really good. Don't let the cover fool you. I feel like the cover is not as nice as, say, like this or this or like other covers. So it I think that was one of the reasons why I didn't pick it up sooner. It's really good. I definitely recommend it if you're into polygamous cults or cults in general or just memoirs or nonfiction. You'll really love this one. So now I'm still reading In My Own Moccasins, um, which is for Indigathon. And then I'm deciding between Kingdom of Ice and killers of the flower moon so yeah now we're gonna watch the mandalorian because we've been watching it in the morning so we're finished with lunch and i think i'm gonna drink some of this i think i'm going to keep editing so it seems like i don't upload a lot but i have a lot of videos uploaded onto my computer that i filmed i have a lot of footage that's uploaded onto my computer onto imovie but it hasn't been edited and it hasn't been moved to youtube so i have two videos that I have the footage on here and I need to edit. So I think I'm going to edit this vlog. Let's see how long it is. Um, let's see. 
I'm gonna drag it over here. Oh, there's a lot of clay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I might have to split it up. It is two hours of footage. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a lot. I might have to split it up because that's a lot. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. So it's Saturday, it's like 2 p.m. I just wanted to come up here and show my bookshelf. Oh, I have this because I was recommending it to my husband because he was learning about something because he's taking microbiology right now, but I was telling him to read this. So I definitely recommend this, The Perfect Predator. They go to Egypt and her husband catches this super bug that makes him really sick while they're in Egypt. And then I think they fly him to Germany and then they end up flying him back to San Diego where both of them work. So she is an epidemiologist and he is a sociobiologist and a psychologist at UC San Diego. So yeah, definitely recommend this. One of my favorites of 2019. And then I think, let me see, this is my shelf, but these are nonfiction books I still am trying to get to in November. So are these right here, especially this one. Um, from the Ashes is a memoir by an indigenous author. And yeah, all those are also options for nonfiction books. And so are those. So if you see anything here that you want me to read, let me know. Let me show you my other shelf because I feel like nobody ever sees it, but here are books that I have here too. If you think I should read any of these, I have this shelf as my nonfiction shelf here because I separate by genre um, and these are all in red. My red books are on a different shelf. I'm thinking of maybe reading this one though. So this one's my husband's book. A little YA shelf. These are the only YA books I have left to read. Really interested in finishing the School of Good and Evil um, trilogy, I think. Got those books. Still have to finish the Game of Thrones books and these are some Barnes and Noble editions that my husband got me and then we have some comic books here and yeah that's my shelf these are basically like higher priority those are still books that i really want to read but these are books that are like higher on my priority list like this is one i really really want to get to but i didn't put it over here because i just don't think that i'll get to it and the new jim crow too but i just don't know if we'll get to it these are all like i said high priority definitely becoming trying to read that before the end of the year i got that right when it came out keisha got it for me like right when it came out so it's been a long time coming and then um oh this i've been meaning to read this for a long time too i think i pre-ordered this it's about um the crisis in flint michigan with the water so definitely need to read that but this is one of the new books i got recently really excited for that one same author as the warmth of other suns which i'm really excited to read uh, another series i'm planning to read before the year is up hopefully i don't know if i'll get to it but it's the um girl with the dragon tattoo and i have this nice series that i got from barnes and noble or no not barnes and noble borders when they were closing it was like 90 percent off so yeah I got those. Also still haven't read the Harry Potter series. I have the original books that I've had since kindergarten, I think, when the first one came out, like 25 years ago or something. But yeah, I'm really behind. I've always had a TBR my whole entire life. I've been reading since I was four, so I have a lot of books to read. I have the original set, but this is a different set that I got. Um, I think it was like, when did this come out? Like four years ago, I think, or five years ago? still on the third harry potter book so and then still planning on reading the illustrated editions as well and yeah so i thought i would just show you a little so it's sunday we're eating lunch i'm having well we got the salads at the grocery i got the salad at the grocery store but it was huge so i had to put it in this huge mixing bowl because i didn't realize the greens were so packed up in there so the salad is huge and um my husband's having barbecue chicken and rice we played mario party when we woke up after breakfast so it's like 2 p.m now 